Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. In our last tutorial, we discuss about how to withdraw money and how to deposit the money. In this tutorial series, I am going to teach how to transfer the money from one account to another account. That is meaning of account to account transaction. We'll see how to do the account to account transaction in this tutorial. Okay. Before designing the form, let me back to our Word document. This is the document of our project. Here, this one will be the transfer. Here, transfer table consists of five columns. One is a transfer ID will be there from account. From account mean this is your account number. If you like, if you, uh, can, can imagine this is your account number. This is this one will be your uh, your sent account number. Sorry. If you send your amount to this number, and you have to enter the amount. What is the amount you are going to send? Like this. Okay. This is your account. This is your sender account. What is the amount you are going to send? That is the meaning of this. From to account. This is the from account ID. This is the to account ID. Okay, that is the meaning of from account ID and to account ID. So, this is the transfer date also there. That should be important stuff. Okay, date should be important stuff. Okay, the same thing shall be created in our database. So, back to our database. So, here this is the three the tables we already created. Now, I am going to go to create a new table which is a we need five columns so okay here new here what i'm going to do is here so what happened here okay okay here table one two three four five tables so here you number here five what's the name you have to put here account to account uh, account transfer transfer table not a transaction it's a shall we put the name as transfer transfer copy and paste the name of the table is transfer okay transfer table consists of five columns and go first one is a transaction id transfer id so pf id TFID it will be 11 characters it is a shall we make it as primary key and auto increment we think this one is a from account so if account ACC this one will be here another one is a two account two ACC 11 characters then date transaction date transfer date this one will be watch on 2250 characters and finally we have to specify the amount what is the amount you are going to transfer from this account to this account what is the amount you are going to transfer you have to uh, select as length as 11 okay the type will be integer because it is a number and now you can click save okay this is the structure your trans transfer table structure is this transfer id uh, from account to account and date and okay if you have any confusion you just check, uh, check off, double check off your doc document okay, this is the document okay you double check off your this document is correct or not okay the same thing you have to type here okay now what i'm going to do is here let me back to our csharp.net and we will design the form so here i'm going to add the windows form here account to account transaction account transfer sorry here account transfer let me simply put transfer transfer okay click it 
here what I'm going to do is here click on here go to properties property window let's get the, go back to the properties window here what I'm going to do is here form border let me make it as none and here I'm going to add the my relevant fields up there I'm going to add the uh, some field so let's back to my toolbox and first I'm going to get the tool which is a group box here so let me draw the group box tool on the form like that and after that label one how many labels we need to double check this is auto increment no need one two three four four so four label for a four data are there one two three four after that you have to align it in the order after complete this task you have to go to go and get the text boxes as well one two three four now align uh, align them in the, in the order perfect Now let me change the name here as from AC from AC me for AC number. This is uh, from account number. This is the thing is uh, two. then here what I'm going to do is here I'm going to um, this one for date date this one for um, amount what's the amount you are going to transfer so here you have to put as amount date successfully done the stuff here instead of the text box control let me change as the, the tool as uh, date picker we pick the tool from the toolbox date picker here this one you drag on here after that let me change the name as this one if txt this one will be t Two txt. This one will be date txt date txt date. This one will be txt amount txt amount. Successfully change the name and click on the group box header. Also, I'm going to change as. Now successfully we designed this stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I need two buttons. Sorry, uh, one is for transfer, another one is for uh, cancel. So we need two buttons. Here we, here we no need to check the balance and everything. We just transfer the amount. Okay. If you want to check the balance and everything, we have to go another option. Search the relevant balance and everything. I'm going to write the program in my uh, upcoming tutorials those stuff so here one two okay so we no need to check the balance what is the uh, uh, given account uh, id what is the relevant balance okay there's no need to check okay here this because this only stuff is doing is account to account transaction if this uh, if, if if this account uh, has sufficient balance so it will be able to transfer the balance into this account okay that is the thing
I'm going to do in this tutorials. Okay. Here trans Here cancel. Okay, guys. I hope you understood this uh, tutorial well. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. In my next tutorial, I'm going to teach how to code this form. Okay, how to write the coding for this transfer button. Okay, guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe me. Thank you for watching.